This is David Kurtz with TPM Media. We're here at the Crown Plaza in downtown St. Paul where the uh, Texas delegation to the Republican Convention is staying. And I'm joined by one of the alternate delegates for the uh, Texas delegation. Give me your name. Barbara Corso. And where are you from? Houston, Texas. And I, I see you guys are decked out in, in Texas regalia here with the cowboy hats and the whole deal, huh? That's right. What is your reaction to the uh, vice presidential pick? I know there's been a lot of buzz and discussion here about Sarah Palin. How is what was your response to her pick by John McCain? Well, um, I'm definitely energized by having Governor Palin as the VP choice, um, just as the fact that she has a great record, and I also like the fact she's a woman. The uh, hurricane obviously disrupted things the first couple of days. What's been the mood? What's been the reaction of sort of having Monday be uh, put on hold? Well, I'll tell you that it was probably – okay that we didn't have a lot of events. I know there was a lot of activity here in St. Paul with some protesters, so uh, we were glad to not really get in the mix of that. Um, yesterday's mood was a little subdued at the convention, and I thought that was appropriate. The focus was on our Gulf Coast states and the people there and the properties there, making sure that they're okay. Sounds like things aren't as bad as first expected, but we're going to take a look and see how things are, and hopefully today is going to be a full agenda and everyone's really pumped up for it. What are you looking forward to this week most? For me personally, Wednesday night, um, I'm a member of the Young Republicans. International Chairman Jessica Colon, who is from Houston, will be speaking. She'll be addressing the main stage at 6.30 p.m., and also Governor Palin's supposed to speak that night. I'm really looking forward to hearing her. Great. We appreciate your time. Thank you. This is David Kurtz for TPM Media.